Welcome everyone to a Wednesday night One Life Squad Ops event. Tonight we got Operation Rudolph Stampede going to be closing out our December themed operations. I am Wilbur. Tonight I am joined by Silas. What's going on, Silas? How you doing? Doing all right. Thanks for having me. Yeah, he's a uh, newest addition to the media team. He'll be coming on in a little bit as a uh, one of our streamers for these One Life events in uh, Squad Ops PS. The uh, or I shouldn't say Squad Ops Squad <laughs> PS uh, Postscriptum, and then maybe some Arma, depending on if he wants to do the Arma events or not. You know, it's all up to him. So tonight we got the militia forces going against the Russian forces, and uh, let me. Pull the map up for you. Uh, so what you see here is you got militia forces, which are going to be coming out of their main down there on the southeast corner. Russian forces, they're going to be setting up on those four fob locations, and they have to defend those four fob locations from the militia attack. After militia has either destroyed two of those radios or all of them, depending on how they want to do it, they can extract up to that gift box where they'll have a opportunity to get some special uh assets that are added into them uh we'll go over those in a little bit but uh for right now commands for round one starting out on the militia side we have lawn darts in command his 2ic is going to be dwarf leading out the rest of the sls is going to be nos revy viper 13 and rose dragon 7. tell me what's going on with uh russia's side there silas so for Russia. For Russia's side, they're starting out and moving to uh, four different FOB locations that they've got to hold with their squads. I think they are decided the fifth squad is going to be a QRF for this evening. Uh, but each squad's going to have a different loadout. So one's going to have mortars, one's going to have HMGs. Um, and uh, Russia's most important thing is that they're going to have to defend each camp location until they're attacked or two of the four possible positions have been eliminated. Uh, for the leadership, we have Kresti as Russia Command for round one. Uh, his 2IC is Frost, and for his SLs, he has Oddball, Scottish, Razor, and Scrooby. Awesome, good stuff. And then uh, leading into what you were talking about, the loadouts for tonight, we'll start off on Militia. They're going to be getting one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, and one Medic across the entire platoon. They'll spread out four lats. Vehicle-wise, they're going to get three Dishka Techies, two Rocket Techies, one Trans Techie, and 18 Red Motorcycles. Bobs, they're uh, they're only getting that one, which is going to be that hideout. Their extraction point it will be one fob, one ammo crate, one mortar, and various defensive structures. And uh, loadouts for Russia. Yeah, so they're rating two ARs and a medic as well as their two FTLs and the SL per squad. They got four Lodgy trucks primarily for setup and a transport truck for that fifth squad. And like I said before, they got those four fobs, each with uh, different assets to them. The most notable is one's going to have a mortar and the other one's going to have a HMG tripod. And I believe Russia gets to pick where they set those. So that'll be very interesting. Yeah, it's definitely going to be interesting. I'm hoping that uh, they pick something nice. They're not just going to put them out in the open. Uh, welcome, guys. Operation Rudolph Stampede. We have a lot of vehicles. This should be quite cinematic and hopefully a lot of fun. Uh, the pretext of our mission is that the Russians have been stealing food from the local populace and um, they've set up checkpoints. Those checkpoints are currently marked on the map with the uh, mine markers. Our mission is to uh, assault two of those checkpoints and then exfil to the old fortress in Foxtrot 75. The details of how we're going to do this are as follows. We'll head from Maine uh, across the Northern Bridge in Kilo 3, if you follow the helmet marks I'm putting down. We'll then head west to a first staging point in Alpha 335, where the pickup marker is. Once we're sure everybody's arrived, vehicles aren't flipped, etc., we haven't lost anybody, we'll then proceed down the uh, western map border on the red arrows to our uh, second staging point, the little forest in uh, Alpha 9, Alpha 8 area. It's also marked with a pickup mark. From there, the two rocket technicals and the three dish techies will push east to a location in Charlie 97. I'll mark that with a uh, SPG marker. From there, the rocket technicals are opening up a barrage on Echo 976. That's our first objective. Once that barrage is in the air, the dish techies will push forward, take up a location where 4's marker is on the map, get fire superiority on those compounds and windows, 
as that's all going on, we will have our motorcycle squads, Revy, Nos, and Rose Dragon, along with Viper, on their motorcycles. You'll be starting from the stage, second stage of point in Alpha 8, tearing east. Your particular points of contact on the target compound are indicated. Squad 2 on the north, squad 3 on the south, squad 5 in the middle. Lightning raid, kill all the Russians we find, destroy the radio, and then we get out of there. We get out of there back to our second staging point in Alpha 8. If that all goes successful and we've got enough resources left, we'll then assault the southern checkpoint, Charlie 11762. Similar sort of plan, hard and fast. Uh, once we have the two checkpoints down, we'll then exfil whatever vehicles we have left to Foxtrot 75. Old Fortress and uh, defend until uh, there's no one left to, uh, to kill. Any questions? All right, sweet squad leaders. Let's uh, get uh, sorry, ready for live. One question. Oh yeah, go ahead, drop. Uh, what should, what type of building should we expect at the uh, checkpoints? All right, so the first compound uh, in Echo Nine Seven Six has a tall blue story on the southwestern corner. It has a uh, little farmhouse on the northwestern corner. It's got a few holes in the wall. I would expect sandbags, uh, barbed wire, that sort of thing. So as you're uh, getting close for the bikes, you'll need to obviously keep, uh, if you're driving, visual and try and uh, land somewhere where you can dismount, get over the wall, assault quickly. Something I mentioned to your squad leaders, uh, I'll mention now, I've just remembered. Please be careful throwing frag grenades. There is likely to be a lot of friendlies assaulting that first compound. Frag grenades, you really got to be sure where it's going to land. Uh, if you don't know if there's any friendlies where it's going to uh, uh, affect the area, then don't throw it. Other than that, uh, listen to your fire team leads and your squad leads. Uh, it'll be all hell breaking loose in that compound when we hit it. Uh, if we have it secure and we're on the radio, squad two and three are going to exfil immediately back to the west. Squad five will be the last squad out, and then uh, we'll rinse and repeat on that uh, southern checkpoint. All right, uh, squad leaders, break them out for live. Buy a PC, get rid of that laptop. And here we go. We are live with round one, Operation Rudolph Stampede. We'll be following militia for both rounds. They'll be in blue. Russia will be in red. That is such a loud convoy. Oh, it is. Ridiculous. Oh, two people hit the road. Evan can't drive. <laughs> It'll definitely be a challenge for them to go undetected with all those vehicles. Oh yeah, there's. there's <laughs> it looks like a. Oh, what the? Oh, people are trying to take shortcuts and they're getting stuck in the road. Good job. It's like a Mad Max scene. It is. That's all I was gonna say. It looks like a Mad Max. It looks like the opening of. Uh, Fury oh, road. the lead vehicle just slid and flipped into like three other uh, motorcycles. Way to go, lawn darts. Oh, this is insane to see them all flip. <laughs> it's just funny. <laughs> all <laughs> these motorcycles and people running off the road and into trees. I wonder if anyone's going to die. Like, just, Oh, no, they didn't do vehicle collision yet. Oh, oh can so you imagine lucky. when that gets added? Oh, this is going to be a, this op would definitely be a nightmare. Especially with how these guys drive these motorcycles. I know. It's like, just stay on the road. Stop trying to take I think, shortcuts. I think people's biggest problem is they don't know how to slow down. Yeah. Brake is on the left. You don't have to hold W the whole time. I think people are just trying to have a little race. Yeah, you can see it's kind of split into three different groups now. Easy. They're screaming at each other up front. <laughs> Easy over the bridge. Let me go ahead and move over to the squad four location on Russia's side to see see if they can hear him coming. Hello. How how are they going to hear me? Oh. 
started out so compact and now it's just so spread out. I think Appa's the only one that knows how to drive a motorcycle. See the one in front. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then Revy's behind him, and then Salty Toast and Sir Trisket. <laughs> Salty Toast and Trisket. <laughs> They're just practicing for the oh, next. Oh uh... no! Revy followed Appa <laughs> and ran into a wall. Now practicing for the next death race rig yeah. event. Oh, we need to do that again. Salty Thes and Trisket are in the lead. It looks like Squad Four on the Russian team does have. Oh, never mind. They're building the perimeter. I thought they had Western security, and I was like, "That's some good foresight." But they do have fortifications on their west side, so it does look like they're a little bit prepared for it. What's going on, Kerr? How you doing tonight? Miss you, buddy. Uh, yes, Silas will be on the Russian commands for both rounds, filling us in on uh, what interesting shenanigans are happening on that side as we watch people trying to drive motorcycles and miss their turns. Oh, they didn't miss their turn. Trisket won. They're at the dismount park. Driver girl. Three is that staging. Roger. Uh, now, are they regrouping there? Or are they dismounting most of the platoon there? Uh, I believe they're regrouping here. Okay. I was a little concerned they were going to try to walk that distance to the next rally oh, point. God, I hope not. Oh, that'd be forever. I was about to say, we're going to be here for a hot minute. <laughs> Does look like Scottish's squad is up here at the northernmost point, and he does seem to be checking west periodically, to see if any militia are coming across that field. Copy that. Yeah, now they're gonna start pushing out to their next location. One down there in the south. Try not to go too far outside the map. You'll probably have to die. Sounds like Russia is having a hard time keeping focused on this north point. They might miss these vehicles driving by. It's extremely loud. I don't know how they're going to miss it. It's definitely like a rolling thunder going south. Well, I'm sitting here over on top of them listening. If they can pick it up. If they don't stand close to the map border, they're definitely going to get hurt. Yeah, because they're only, what, like 600 meters out? Yeah. They haven't heard them by now. They're not going to hear them. You can just faintly hear the engines from here, and I don't think anyone's picked up on it. Hey. Sad face. And the militia manages to slip by unnoticed by Russia command. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Big time. Especially with these rocket technicals. Yeah, you got lawn darts in one and Rosa in the other. That's a deadly combination to have in a rocket techie. I was talking to Rosa before the op. She was pretty excited to be firing that. So I'm a little concerned for Russia. Yeah, <laughs> if she's excited about something, you know she's going to destroy somebody. Oh, yeah. All right, uh, Revy, North, and Rose, I want you guys hitting it on the line. Spread out north to south, so squad two will be on the north, five, then three. Have you guys, as they travel east, when I give the command for you to move, to wire. Looks like Wandarts is already getting lined up on one of the points. 
breaking into the room between my legs. Looks like he might try to hit Echo 9. It looks like him and Rose are going to start moving further south now. The rest of the platoon starts pushing out. Well, he has to be careful. If he goes much farther east, uh, they might hear him. I think he wants to get as close as he possibly can. I mean, I think he should be able to find from this field. Open fire. Oh, yeah, they yep, have a huge stop. range now. Yeah, if they stop there, they should be okay. Creeping right into the center of all the points. See, the thing about vehicles and squad is the screeching of the tires whenever they're trying to stop gives mm -hmm. them away more than the actual engine. And yep. Anybody could have heard those. Yeah, and, and engine can just roll and roll and roll and it'd be like, oh, that's on man. You hear that tire, you're like, oh, he's driving. The problem Ooh, is, Russia's Wondarch, just. You are way too close. Russia's chit chatting quite a bit and doesn't seem to be catching up on the sounds. Him and Rosa got way too close, even for my leg, and they're like 400 meters away. Scott is saying, Scott is over here stressing the importance to rear security to his squad, saying it's highly unlikely they come from the West, but it, never know. <laughs> Little does he know, rockets are about to open up on squads three and five. Oh no! Militia's lining both rocket techies up on the most occupied point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This could be catastrophic for squads three and five on the Russia team. They're all out in the open on this point. I'll let you know when he starts shooting. Dishka techies are up with them too. I think he's using the Dishka techies as uh, defensive positions. No one on this point is watching the western area at all. This is going to be mad. Oh, God. Who I see for Ru Russia is saying they think the northern or southern Bob is going to get hit first and... I have no idea. The Russian or the militia platoon is just sitting ready to strike here. This is round one. Operation Rudolph's Stampede. Almost said revenge. Oh, there, there they go. Oh God. Oh. Devastating rocket barrage. <laughs> Don't think it's killed anyone yet. Russian forces had just enough time to seek cover. Oh no, Londart's killed three with the opening barrage. Oof. Dishkatechi's coming in. Getting close with these technicals. Eyeball firing mortars out. Motorcycles inbound. Everyone's. Oh, this is a lightning strike. Straight. Oh, they are streak. devastating Russia right now. Russia trying to get some mortars out, but militia is just moving too quickly in. Down goes eyeball. They're driving right up to the wall. They're losing heavy, heavy casualties on both sides in this assault. I don't know which way to cover. They're 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 going so fast. 
good. I'm jumping there. Go for it, go for it. I'm right behind you. I'm holding for you. It looks like militia actually yeah, militia, seemed militia. to lost lose the initial oh, engagement with seventeen kills for Russia, nine for militia. Ooh. Wow. Six Russian forces left on this compound. Got some reinforcements coming, coming down from the north, and some reinforcements coming from the south. Squad two seems to be moving up to get on that south ridge. They're gonna have militia and a kill zone from there. Yeah, Dorf just called out the contact coming in from the north. Squad 2's forward fire team's gonna have the big say in we'll what happens to those technicals, I think. Uh, we just have to find the radio. We the radio. We the radio. No, one Unfortunately down, one for them, it looks like they have just barely enough tree cover to not be able to see those technicals that are open up on no, command element. Fresh command element. How is Ely still alive? Friendly's inside the house. Friendly's inside the house. I could put a fragmentation in there. No, no, it's good. Oh, this shit's getting devastated on this assault. Friendly, friendly. Yeah. Russian got 21 kills just off of that. Only three Russians remaining in the compound, though. Command just gave the order for them to try to pull out if they could. But it doesn't look like they're going to be able to. It looks like Militia's got them completely surrounded. And the remaining elements of the compound saying they're going to try to hold their corners rather than pull out. The Elite takes out another one. It's two. They're digging down the radio now, Evan and Partisan. It's not clear, it's not clear apparently. Did you fear this? Cover me, I'm going to destroy the radio. Tiger's still alive too. Good. Oh, I mean, they're just hiding out. Yep. Holding corners. Yeah, it's just down to D-Link and lag oh. right now. Borhan turns a corner. The two militia troops. Oh, but a bad grenade takes yeah. out two of them. Like that force coming in from the north pulled back, and maybe the one from the south pulled back too. Yeah, militia's only got. Oh, Evan might get taken out on the radio. Yep, D Leak oh. secures the radio. Militia's only got two left at the compound, and they're on the outside perimeter. Yep. Good job, D Leak. I guess they're in that blue building, right? Correct. I only have a brag. All right, let's do it. Careful, oh, there's I'm still one near you. this red barn across. But D Leaf and Lagar don't have command comms, so they have no position to call in for reinforcements or let Russia Command know that the compound is, in fact, mostly secure. Execute. Lagar doesn't get them. I think D Leaf will catch them. Yeah, D Leaf. Barely watching the steps. He gets one. Oh, the Dishka saves Decrim there. Ooh. And Decrim's able to get the kill, so Lagger and Decrim being the last two on point. All that for one radio. <laughs> They're down to what? Got 27 kills for the Russian, only 16 for Militia. Holy shit. I didn't think it would be that bad, I would have thought. With that kind of Blitzkrieg that Militia would have taken Militia. Out more. Militia actually took a few team kill casualties in the assault too, so Russia about took two to one on that one. 
Tiger's gonna move up on Decrum. We will have contact with the south Oh! Fire. Takes him out. He could save the radio from bleed out. Yeah, that's that contact. Yep. That's no blame. Militia cleared from the compound and Liger's able to save it by a little bit of time. Because yeah, here comes Guido. Save from bleed out. Oh. oh, I thought he was dying. Yep, yeah, they saved right, it from bleed out. But unfortunately, no comms with Russian command. He's not able to call for reinforcements, so. He's going to have to hold off against about 10 more of them by himself. And he already killed 10? <laughs> what is he at? Where is Decro? D-League took out 12. Oh, 12. D-League's on 12. That's right. Yeah. Good God. West? No, no. West. And we're going to go through the uh, blue, into the blue story. Wait. Uh, oh, that's Lagger that's left. I'm sorry. I thought it was D-League still. Damn. D-League got 12. Holy shit. I think he was posed right up in that little gap on the west side and got all the guys coming in on motorcycles. Yep. Oh, Lagger. I just got shot from the south. This is on camel there. Dwarf might get him here. Yeah, I think Dwarf is going to get him. Clear, clear, clear. All clear. Get the radio. It's in this room here. Right, it's in this room. Take it down. Oh. He's in, like, the perfect spot that the people in the windows <laughs> yeah. can't shoot him. I was a little concerned when he laid down there, but it's right. working out for him. He's going up to clear it. He just came up to like I got him. Hold him stairs. Oh, it's Rocky taking bad him track. out. Oh, shit. Doesn't hurt anyone. That's very fortunate, because I don't think they could survive the casualties. Yeah. He, like, with 12 kills. Holy shit. The first five minutes. Good kill? That's, uh, I think that's a record. We were here, we were here saying this would be a long off. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. It's not over yet. Yeah, it's the commentator curse. Whatever we say, the opposite happens. We say someone's name, they just die. Militia has close to even numbers if they hit one of the isolated, if they hit the isolated northern objective. Especially since uh, they dispatched, it looks like Krusty took at least one or two others with him to go scout out the objective to see where they're going next, which is a smart decision on his part. Yeah, Dorf's gonna have to come up with a whole new plan now. He's lost a large majority of his force. Did Lawn Darts go down on the assault? He did. Yep. Wait, did he? Are him and Rosa oh. down? Yeah, Lawn's still up. Oh, yeah, they're yeah, they're still up. I was gonna say, they didn't, they didn't charge in. They were just sitting on the rocket techies. Oh, wow. I forgot about the rocket techies if they're saving artillery for the next point. I would. I would just It'd use it for the initial for initial assault and that's it. Oh. oh, it looks like they got ambushed by a small buddy team out there at the Rocks, Hovis and Cabarro. Yeah, and they got the wrath of those Dishka techies. <laughs> Didn't manage to get either of them, though. It's hard to hit a moving target when you're moving. Yes, this is called squad. This is a uh, one life event that we do on a modded server within the game of squad. Squadception. And Russia called out that militia was leaving through the west. A smart decision by Londarts to move his team back to a rally point so that Russia has no idea where they're attacking next. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you can pull back outside of their out of their visual range and then it's like, okay, well, where the where the hell are they going next time? Well, we don't know because we can't see them. Now, the predictable strategy would be for Londarts to reach just hit the northern point, but Krusty might pull his forces up there and I think Londarts knows this and that's why he planned on attacking the southern point.
Hopefully they don't lose too many people. I mean, they got they got one radio down. They got yep. the second one down. And sure enough, Squad One asking permission to push a fire team north to sweep for contacts. Uh, Oop, rocket, rockets going out. Yep, he. he... <laughs> but he's overshooting by a lot. And good thing too, because that would have wiped out that whole squad if it managed at the center of that little cop. Yeah. So do a quick dump now. In fact, I think just a single dish techie up on that hill is gonna devastate the squad. They have no uh, no internal cover on their five. It's just one perimeter. Yep, Rosa was off a little bit too. Those are those are far. Roger, that's good. Come down the corner. Roger, we're coming yep. in behind the hill. Dwarf's coming in close with a and rush motorcycle. In a, yeah, and a full panic when they hear those motorcycles coming from the southwest. And there comes that Dishka. Yep, he gets one. Yeah, they got a fire team coming in now. Russia just trying, just trying desperately to suppress the gun. They managed to kill one of the gunners, but the second one opens up on them. Four left on the objective. The militia forces are able to run right in on them. Dorf gets one, Alpha Guido gets another. Sasa on the outside. Cross is on the other side of that truck. We got it, we got it. Dorf a little early with a got it call. No, we're getting it now. Roger. So shoots and Guido hears him moving up on him. We're on the radio, there's still one more contact here. Roger, uh, yeah. cool, it's still Roger, I'm cool. Anyone can make it out of there. How did Frost not die from that vehicle explosion? Oh, Yago almost no. ran right over Zaba for us. Militia only takes one casualty on the assault. I think that's what Dwarf was looking for the first time. Oh, yeah, that was a very clean execution there. A really smart play by Lon to switch up and attack the least predicted objective next. Doesn't look like Russia's gonna try to reinforce it now. Looks like they're all gonna pull north, maybe. Oh, yeah, the remnants of uh, Frost Squad pulls north. I didn't see them there. That northern fire team is—they're pulling north, saying they're being pursued. But I think Militia's probably just gonna load up and blitz it to their uh, their regroup, their rally point out there on the northeast. So they're going to start moving out to their hideout, Bob, now. And they're going to be getting some support drops. Supplies. From foreign investors, you want to say. If we randomized what they get, they could get anywhere between one to three supply drops, rocket barrages, or a lump of coal, so nothing at all. I still think the lump of coal should just be an empty supply drop. <laughs> Like Imagine pops that. Open, pops open and it's just a bunch of smoke mortars that just go off, blocking your view. Ah, oh, that'd be terrible. Pump of coal. Get him away from this mess of gnats. Get up here to this fob location and wait. Russian command giving the order for Russia to regroup at the fallen checkpoint at Echo 97. 
be interested to see what kind of counterattack Christy comes up with. He does have the numbers advantage, yeah. but his Londar is proved. That doesn't mean much. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. He doesn't have much to fight against. Or fight. Yeah, fight against. They get a crafty defense in place, I think. Well, I should pull this one off. But I suppose what kind of supporters gift they get is going to be the big influence. It's it's just supplies. That's all they're getting. Well, no, some of them are rocket barrages. Support missions. So those could definitely devastate Russia. I gotta wait for the op doc to reload on my phone. <laughs> uh, they're getting, since they, they're getting three support Three small supply drops. They place hideout fob. Oh, is that the one they're getting? Okay. Yeah. Man, that's unfortunate for them. Could you imagine how... I wonder how much different this op would have been if that first... um, that first attack went in Militia's favor. Oh, yeah, for like, sure. I think... Militia would have a huge advantage if, even if they didn't push up the motorcycles to the compound, I think if they stopped at the ridge where the Dishkatekas did, they would have a lot better, a lot better numbers right now than they do. Most of those guys in the assault actually got picked off when they were driving up rather than assaulting the compound itself. Because yeah, right now, Militia has, or I'm sorry, Russia has 31 kills and Militia has 22, so it's, it's only... What a nine nine man difference, squad basically difference. That's huge in this game, though. Yeah. With this stronghold, though, and with the techies they have, I think that the two to one odds could actually be in malicious favor. Uh, it looks like Londars is trying to position position the disc technicals inside, but I think if he set out ambushes along the way, they could whittle down Russia's numbers. Especially with all these open fields. Yep. Now, how would you attack this? They're asking that on Twitch. You're you're a seasoned commander, so I'm going to take your advice. How would I, with the counterattack? See, I think the Western approach is going to be the best. I Russia Command, to Krusty's credit, has no idea how many casualties they've inflicted on militia. Uh, he probably thinks it's a lot more than nine guys, especially with the amount of technicals and the amount of fire that came in on that second objective and how quickly it was taken. I think I think he thinks the the numbers are about even. Um, it looks to be what he's planning on doing is a split approach from the west to the south, which is, quite frankly, I think his best options here. Uh, putting the whole platoon in the west forest, that puts him at the terrain at disadvantage, but if they approach from the south and west, that's going to give him the best advantage moving through the village. So I think I think how Krusty's approaching now is honestly his best option with the information that he. Yeah, every attack I have seen on this location, whether it's vanilla or it's in these events, if they go through the woods, they just get decimated. Whoever's the attacking oh, for sure. force. If I was if I was in Londard's shoes, I definitely have. The technical is not on the point. I'd have them out overlooking the field someplace, um, kind of expecting that south and western approach to try to pick off Russia as they come through. I mean, even just a couple kills here from Militia can make the difference between uh, victory and defeat. Yeah, they're pushing and... people out into the woods. Oh, yeah. And not too many. Actually, Londars is the only one to the south. Or no, I mean, to the north. There's no one looking south. I think that might be their Achilles heel here is that so southern approach. From, um, the radio position because the rocket techie is particularly yeah. It looks like they pushed all their forces off to point. Yeah, no one's on point. Londars is probably the closest person to the point right now. Yeah, Militia actually has six instead of nine. It might be a little bit difficult, but these northern squads are probably going to get spotted pretty early on. 
Russia command asking four to hold until two gets in place, but it looks like four is still progressing. So I think if four meets contact before squad two, Russia's going to take quite a few of them out. But I think with the numbers Russia has right now, Russia's probably going to get overwhelmed pretty quickly. They're they're getting way too close. Contact northwest. Oh yeah. Coming over the ridge line northwest. North just called out that that western Georgia. front. They're probably gonna hit you from all angles. They have no idea this I northern squad's up here, and I think that's why Londarts was screening out here, but he doesn't seem to be looking direct north. No, he he's actually got his head down. Either. Yeah. Yeah. The, and he doesn't know about the force to the south. He probably won't notice till they walk right up on him. Probably be able to call their footsteps before getting picked off. But it looks like those southern forces are going to be able to take the point completely unopposed. That's so interesting to me. They parked the Dishkatekis up here and left them. Fallback positions. And here we go. Militia's pushing in from the north. Long darts is going to be the first one to get hit. Oh, that Western team's getting real close to you. They're within 20 meters of Alpha Guido. I think it's going to kick off here in the West first. Oh, they're about to walk right up on him. Guido can hear him. Yeah, he's calling it out. He's ready to go. Russia spots him first. I got one quickly hides behind a rock. Oh, but he gets oh gore <laughs> gets taken yeah. out by a grenade. I forgot about that. <laughs> Dorf got walked up on and managed to trade with one of them. Wow, Russia was actually able to initiate that engagement. That's unfortunate for militia. I think they were trying to wait for them to walk behind them. They just don't have enough foliage down there. And oh, Rocket Techie. Oh yeah, Rose is still up. Oh, the unexpected rocket artillery. I didn't even think about that. She is way up north. I haven't even been paying attention to her. How many did she take out right there? I don't know. I don't even know where she hit. I was I was down over top of someone. She shoulder. hit the. She hit the northern slope right as that squad was pushing, and I think she killed three. <sighs> Flicker is the only one left. He's trying to yell to his team. I don't think he notices his team's down. He has no idea that the compound is trying to assault is empty. So that's what Londart said. He just sat there and waited for them to push that just in case. And then had I, Rose up just ate Yeah, him on it. <laughs> he, I think he may have given her both the rocket artillery, so I'm not quite sure. Oh now she's now she's closer in. That southern team though was able to walk right in and take the southern fortifications, so the Russian for or the the militia forces in the woods are just no hope of getting back. Toby, I'm gonna have to disagree. I think I think Londards definitely knows he does not have the numbers advantage. Yeah, they lost. I think 27 at least. I think it was more like 29 yeah. on the first attack, which yep. is almost the whole platoon. Oh, that gore from grenades is amazing to watch. Sick. Yeah, these these Russian forces are just amazed. They're able to walk in this objective. Oh, there's Londarts. All right, he was right under me. Him and Rose are teaming up. Still have Yago. Clutch too much out in the woods. Looks like Clutch too much is cleaning up some of those militia forces. Ooh, that grenade. They're devastating these woods. Looks like Rose and Londart's the last militia left. Uh, now you got Yago out there. Oh, he's way out there. Yeah, three left. Looks like he's gonna push south behind these guys.
Ooh. Nice one tab, Rosa. And Rush has... N oh, they, they just noticed. They think it's direct north. They have no idea that Rose and Lawn Darts are actually to the east. Yeah, there's 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 no one out north. Maybe north they, what northwest out here in Yaga. They spotted oh, no. Yaga and they're shooting at him. <laughs> and Londart's just de DC'd. Oh. That's the worst time to DC when you're one of the last people are alive. Good luck, Rosa. He's from Australia, isn't he? He's got that crazy ping. Yep. Rose is able to walk right up on him, though. Everybody in Rush is still looking west and north. Rush has a perfect picture of two. Oh, Rush should take... gets one. Yeah, she almost got Rios in that spray down. And she's just working her way around. Yagu is slowly working his way in the north side. He was a little bit. Cr oh, is Rose gonna see no. Flicker? She's looking that way. Oh no, there's, she looked away. Oh yeah, she's gonna. No. Oh no! Ah, oh, she looked away just at the wrong moment. Oh, Yagu left, man left. He's got a nade. That was back. Oh. He's getting in deep. Oh, and he gets Hovis. Oh, and he said it was what? a bad grenade. <laughs> oh, and then he yeah. gets taken out. Ay. It's picked up. GG, and that's going to do it for round one of Operation Rudolph. Rudolph's Stampede. We're going to take a quick break, and we will be back shortly. You're seeing now in blue are going to be the militia, and red will be the Russian forces. And here we are. We're live with round two of Operations Rudolph Stamp Stampede. Trying to say two words at the same time, and people are not on their bikes. <laughs> the, this isn't as... Uh, this isn't as nice as last round. It doesn't look like a Mad Max ver uh, movie. I think Russia has forgotten about their MG emplacement. Maybe they're waiting for... See what the militia does before they place it. But as of yeah, right now, I'm not attacking. seeing it. That's smart. Because if you... Like last round, they had it pointed in the opposite direction of where uh, they were getting attacked from. They may have forgotten about it, actually. That'd be sad. Oh, don't go too far out in the map border there, Frost. You'll die. Where, where is he going? He's, someone's going yep. way out Frost there. Frost just caught it. Frost. Oh, God. The map border's got him sliding. He can't control his, uh, oh. his motorcycle. Him, Liberal, and Gia. Yep, there goes Frost. Okay. Liberal's going next. I'm sure they'll get a respawn for that one. Yeah. Oh, there goes Liberal. I forget it's just oh, ice out G. there. Adams. <laughs> yeah, they, they they just slid out into the border and then you can't drive on it anymore. It just I think I think that's the first border deaths for squad off. No, I think Slide there was one it. I think there was one where it took out like half a half a platoon. Oh wow. It was I a certain map, one. like they weren't in the map border at all like they were outside of the map like in the play area and it still killed them oh. yeah frost and them are just going to respawn and stay away from the map border this time russia getting a strange perimeter of barbed wire around this southern checkpoint it looks like rose is doing a much wider defense here if you're in that rocket artillery you bunch people up, and that's how they die to a rocket artillery strike. He's calling that he thinks that militia is going to attack from across the river to the south. So, Let's see if he gets that HMG put up. I think he may have sacrificed the HMG for razor wire. I 
only seeing one thing of razor wire. This looks like just sandbags. Yeah, all the razor wire they put almost on the fob perimeter down by the river and and those uh, east wood. Oh, okay, okay. Looks like they're trying to hold them off at arm's length as long as they can. You better little do they know. This one. Yeah. Oh, eyeballs getting into position too. Check him out. See how. Oh, looks like there's a large force up where eyeball is going to be firing it on. Andy. Uh, say about a squad and a half where eyeball is going to be pushing. Hopefully, he doesn't push too close and get spotted. This motorcycle is getting pretty close to that north point. Yeah, they get too well. Yeah, I think they're getting a little too close. They need to start going out on foot now. Really want to see how this southern what's the name for it? Uh, ruse, how it goes. See if it works out for Krusty. Yeah, it looks like he's lining up that southern rocket already on that south point. Yeah, just waiting on Frost team to respawn in and get back up there. I think there's way too much fog for this layer. Oh yeah, but without it, these fields would be a lot more devastating. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Trade. Good trade off. Squad six saying they heard a technical down at Desna it's Echo eleven two, but no militia forces down there. Yeah, nowhere near Squad six. I don't know. I think he's just hearing things. I mean, with the range on those tires, it's possible he heard maybe, maybe crusty breaking way out there, but I think Dorf's just hearing things. Yeah. It, it happens. Ooh, Squad Five getting real close up to that. Oh yeah, I think actually I think that's the one I want to watch. They are eyeballs real close. They get spotted too early though, or get too close. Those Russian forces are going to run into them when they go to adjust to the south. the northern squads are set up and ready to go. Krusty's got the artillery range. I want to be down here to see what kind of effect it has. Rose Dragon just standing on top of one of the rocks down here. Not a care in the world. I get one tap. The only thing that's protecting him is the fog. Yeah, Striker, we got command comms. They're the ones in yellow.
Now, what's oh, the plan? I turned with... it on. <laughs> Jesus. What's the plan with Frost Squad down here in the south? Because it looks like they're trying to cross the river. It, yeah, okay, I see. Uh... They're not gonna. They're not supposed to cross the river. I think. I think they're only gonna be harassing, like firing on them, and that's it. I think the fog might have them trying to cross to get over here on the west side, this west hill. Ah, yes. Which at that point they might have. Oh. firing. Orders are going out. Oh, I hear the rockets going too. The opposite effect, I think, for Krusty on command comms. Squads three and five calling contact first, and then squad two in the north calling contact. Maybe he changed his plan to actually salt the southern point. You might need to now. Cross, cross dying kind of screwed them. Yeah, no one's moving towards this uh, little, little fog. Krusty's, Krusty's ranging so shot to the south managed to snag a Russian soldier. Way too far, way oh, but the rest of his barrage seems to miss. Like he's off just by like one degree. Yeah, he's trying to call it in on Appa and Plastic. Well, Frost is calling him in. Squad two on Russia team. Underestimating the contact to their north. He says it's just sporadic overfire, but little does he know most of the militia platoons they're poised to attack. Oh, it looks like militia is actually getting really close to Squad 2's perimeter. Ooh. Yeah, Rocket Tech, you have North doing good. Oh no, Razor. Just killed an entire assaulting fire team from militia. What was he? What did he what did he do with the Rocket Techie? It it one of the stray rockets had a tree in the woods about 150 oh, meters off the point. No. It looks like he had a good effect on the objective, though, as well. Took yep. out several Russians. That's why I don't like the rocket techie. It's too... It, 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 it's too far. It's, you can't aim it well. Killed three friendlies, but five enemies. We're seeing a much different attack up here than last round. Mush is just cautiously creeping in. Definitely a lot slower. Frosty making harassing uh, poke at the enemy. Hey, 
one, four would be advised. I don't have eyes on three. Uh, three pushing from the northeast currently. I've lost three men. Rose calling for mortars down on these militia forces pretty accurately. Let's see if Londards delivers on them. Are you calling on uh, Frost position or over here yeah. on the other side? Down at Frost squad at the south. Uh, more as western teams. Ooh, command might go down getting unloaded by that that uh, emplacement. That MG emplacement. Definitely got tagged. Order is going out on Krusty Squad across the river. Flicker might get tagged here by his for first opening barrage. He does. Yep, gets two. Combinator curse. <laughs> I think they're making a nice push on the northern fob now. There's only three left up here on the north, but they are getting reinforced by like about a squad. Ooh. Looks like Krusty and Militia Command got wiped out by the mortars down there in the south. That's not good. Command, RSL just died. I've taken over. Two just went down also. Alright, Command's dead too. Yeah, Frost went to, down. Uh, Frost and Krusty. Yeah, that southern assault just completely obliterated by the counter mortars. Yeah, that ball is taking over command. He's telling him to keep keep firing in on him. Keep distracting him. Viper's coming up. I think this deciding fight's gonna be in the north if militia can pull it back. Oddball squad gets engaged on the east. Yep, down goes Razor. That's another squad lead down. Two squad leads down plus command. Sitting at six kills for the Russians and 11 for the militia. Somehow, Phil and I just shot a lat and killed himself from the back blast, it looked like. Unless he got shot as he threw the, or as he shot the, uh, lat round. You've got contact to your south, as well as the contact to your southwest. Southeast and southwest, correct. We're trying to assist you on the southeast. We're trying to assist you on the southeast. Revy up here in the north calling the radio building his lofts to militia. Lon's calling for reinforcements to pull in to try to retake it. Oddball's flanking squad over there managed to cut down most of the reinforcements. Yeah, I think this is all going to be north, like you said. They're going to have to take this northern one and then just start pushing south. Understood. Try to suppress them best you can. 
They're definitely not going to have the cohesion to be able to regroup like Londart's team did. No, uh, not at all. I mean, there's... Especially with the lack of leadership. Yep, that's going to be a hindrance. Oh, uh, sure. because of a map border. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't blame Frost at all, because once you get in even close to that map border, you lose all control of your vehicle. Oh, yeah. Militia is starting to secure the radio now. Londarts is really pressing these uh, remnants of Squad 3 to retake the point, but he does not have a good idea of how many militia are up here. Yeah, Zach, he's on the first radio. Oh, Revy's shooting in on him. Oh, his mortars come in. Every takes down scope, Sergeant. Back, he's gonna pull back. Yep, Londarch just called for the fighting retreat back to the next point. Looks like he's given up this northern point for militia. Interested to see if he's gonna keep mortaring it afterwards. He's calling in mortars all over Revy. Yeah, but sure now. Sacrifice one, get a whole bunch more. Yep. They just made the call to drop mortars all around Revy. He's the last up. <laughs> I'd, I'd take an L for uh, the team to win as Revy kills another person. <laughs> yeah, he just, <laughs> they all just said their uh, sayonara on command comms. A little bit of an overshoot. Yeah, they need to get a wider dispersion on these for sure. Mortar caught one off guard. Someone walked right into the mortars. And then some cross squad walking up the road to get with everybody else. Those MG3s are just terrifying to hear. They're terrifying to hear, but you can't hit shit with them. Oh, yeah, the recoil and the <laughs> spread ridiculous. is crazy. but Even if you're bi-botted. They'll, they'll definitely make you think twice about putting your head up, that's for sure. Well, I think the mortars just took out a rather Scottish chap. That's another leader. Oh, man, took out another two. Who's on the mortars? Because they are rocking people right now. Is it Rosa? Looks like it's Rosa, yeah. 14 kills on the mortar. Oh my god. He's wiping them out. 23 kills for the Russians and 19 for militia. Video's on bleed out. More mortars coming out. I wonder where she's going to put these. I think my dev might have tweaked the mortars a little bit. These are absolutely devastating militia. Yeah, I think they I think they got a nice little uh boost. Did you take out that radio? Squad one is destroyed. Just uh wait for the mortars to see us. I will go into the compound after the mortars. Russia Command giving the order for the next point to be attacked to just everyone fall into who can. Of course, they have to leave those fire teams back in reserve, but. Londarts is pretty confident that he's got the numbers advantage here. Oddball, uh, where do you want Squad 3 and a little bit of Squad 1 to push? It looks like the next compound they're going to push is where lawn darts is compound, okay just sit tight get space in the compound at f7 five five uh charlie seven charlie seven 
We haven't confirmed or denied whether that radio is destroyed. If squad one still up, squad five calling out militia squad two on their west, southwest. They're gonna drop mortars on them, and these guys do not have the spacing they need. Nope. And they're getting shot at, so they're gonna lay down. Can't get up because they're in an open field. Hey. If those mortars are dead on, they're in deep trouble. Okay, just be, be my distraction. Sauce is the only one that hasn't gotten tagged from that fire coming from that compound. Here comes mortars. He's smart. He's crawling through the weeds. Oh, yeah. He knows mortars are next. Ooh, can't a Clyde takes a straight round to the head. Happy New Year's, Tinker. Elite liberal. There go the mortars. They get one. Or liberal. <laughs> Just delete it off the map. There we go. Squad 5 is calling for mortars north of them now. Well, at least the mortars only got one. What does that put Rose at? 15 kills. <laughs> well, she's right on this point that's getting attacked, so she has a good idea where they're coming from. She's going to be just hammering this, uh, this northeast hill here. d leak has got the right idea. He's running up to the wall. He heard those mortars. He knows what's coming. How much ammo does she have left? You know, they get they get quite a bit, um, especially since they put. Uh, they, they tweak well, the ammo values, I think, for the mortars, they get quite a bit more. She's going on a kill streak. She just took out another person coming in from yeah. the northeast. Oh, someone got raggy. Got Dwarf's like... calling him. Yeah. Three Dwarf's calling for those mortars to get right up on the fence line. Uh, Rose is at 17 now. Jesus. Like I said, three more for the tactical nuke. They're driving right in here at these technicals. Oh, those of those two don't count. They're strafing the compound with them. Oh, that technical is in trouble now that they had a tree. That driver popped out. Smart move on his part. They almost ran right into door squad. Amos gets one. Oh, got two. Oof. He just cleared the building. Fast. Got more coming <laughs> in, though. x -Grons panic screams alerting his uh, teammates here in the building. Sasa, clear the bottom floor of this thing. Sauce gets picked off, leaving Nameless alone. That is the worst position to hold. Is that name Nameless? That is the worst per position to hold. Rose is out for blood. She's going in. Oh, maybe it isn't the worst position. Damn. Rosa got him. 19. Even just... Four militias scattered to the wind to try to retake this objective. Sorry, five. Five, yeah, and they're like really way out there. <laughs> oh. Port Rio says almost no health left. Six. Creamy Mayo, Sven. 
Oh, I didn't see Sven. Yeah, I didn't see him until I turned names back on. Johnson, one pump, and JV. No command structure whatsoever. We have uh, no command comms, correct? This is going to be interesting. On darts reminding his forces that vehicle stealing's on to occupy any technicals they might find. You're gonna drive one in. I know what they plan on doing, but they're gonna drive one in. Going out with oh. a blaze of glory. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, Sven gets picked off in no time. It's like creamy mayo might get away though. Run away! Nope. Run away! <laughs> oh, nope. So it's left to... what? JV... The last... Yeah, it's the last fire team up here. Oh, guys, you gotta push that radio. We're the last ones. I don't even think that they're in the same squad. They're just talking in local. Oh, it looks like Rio's got DC, leaving just three of them left. You know, the Hudson broke those three guys from Bravo. We saw the uh, little one. <laughs> Don't, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess you should. <laughs> we blew up our own team members, you're right. Remnants of militia platoon, this is Rudolph, do you copy? I copy. Roger. I mean, we can hold out here. Get info from the admin. Hold calm. Defend our homeland. Um, we humbly that you. Go and secure a second checkpoint from the Russian Or minutes. calling possible contacts in northwest of them. Out. Nothing out there, but sit dwarf squad on a goose chase. Chasing bushes. Yeah. It looks like Russia is uh, teasing so, the Dishka so technical down there. Valiant charge for the motherland. And get chewed up by a machine gun. What is militia devised up here? We're just gonna do a valiant charge into the radio. Yeah, Russia stole one of the technicals and brought it up to that compound. I always forget about vehicle stealing. Every time I can use it, it's off. Every time. <laughs> I wish it was on more often. It, it's really interesting game mechanic for open vehicles like technicals, especially. Oh, we're going to get seen. They don't see us. It's going to be a miracle. No, I haven't seen anybody, but I know there's guys in that tree line, in those hills. I don't know what, what one pump is taking his two other comrades on, but taking the long route to die. Yeah. Dorf's calling remnant contacts probably east northeast, but he's not really far off. He could be wrong if pump keeps moving his guys south. Russia looks like they decided just to go out and look for him. Probably for the best. Just end it. 
you know we're talking about they're they're gonna get ended watch these three end up clearing everybody out and win. yeah well like what 20 <laughs> you never know as long as they don't run out of ammo One of them was wise enough to get a M249 instead of the MG3, so just maybe. Ooh, it looks like Squad 4 spotted those contacts going over the hill, and they're moving up to engage them now. Oh, yeah. They're all three going to get caught in this field. Oh, this is going to be bad. Come on, Appa. Drops one. Gets two. JV just dumps around and moves. Oh, and Appa gets him. That's going to be GG for round two. Awesome.